All right, and this is class one, Showmanship Senior Western. Um, fantastic exhibitors, congrats on having really white horses in a red ring. We'll check in a few hours and see if they're still white. <laughs> uh, both horses were spectacularly turned out, quality tag. Wonderful groom jobs on both horses. Um, today, what really set us apart was our quality in the back. Um, this pattern is pretty straightforward, but in that it is very straight. Um, and in a class that calls for a straight back, that tends to be your breaker of the day. Um, first today is going to go to number 227. 227 today took first, not only for a straighter back, but for a really, really good plan at the 270 cone. Pivoting into that cone can cause problems, so it's really about spatial awareness. Second day goes to 223, an immaculately turned out horse. And a wonderful exhibitor who is absolutely dressed the nine, has done a fantastic job, had a great pattern, but unfortunately was just not quite as straight in the back today. So first goes to 227, second goes to 223. Okay, winning our senior Western Showmanship is going to be Adriana Dunbar, number exhibitor 227, and second will be Abigail Taylor with number 223. All, and all winners of all showmanship classes, please remain ringside for overall showman. Well, on our class two junior Western showmanship, please enter the ring and line up at the rail. We're looking for exhibitor 92 and 277. Class five, English senior showmanship, we're looking for three exhibitors in the holding pen. That's 379, 325, and 335. Thank you. Thank you. You can do your T seventy of those in trap.
o'clock two should be shown, Junior Western. It's going to play follow second to 92, first to 277. I really appreciate both horses immaculately turned out, well clean. Uh, number 92, greatly appreciate your smile and your positive attitude with the Wiggly Horse today. Unfortunately, you did present on the wrong side of the pose, and I could not place you first. First place today, thank you very much for a well turned out horse and a quality pattern. Um, I'd like to see you continue to work on your 270 for a slightly tighter turn. You have a really nice horse, but you're going to really go far. Thank you guys very much. Your class is going to go first to 277 and second to 92. Okay, we're looking for class six to enter the holding pen. That's junior English showmanship. We're looking for seven exhibitors. 433, Sinya McFarlane. 366, Mackenzie Stout. 332, Jaden Rudder. 458, Jennifer Price. 225, Addison Hot. 267, Chloe Craighead. And 400, Celine Good. Please enter the holding pin and be ready for your class.
All right, and for us, this is going to be class number five, Senior English Showmanship. If you're here at Exhibitors today, really appreciate positive attitudes with horses that may or may not be T players today. Um, this class is going to pin as follows. First would be 325. I really appreciated that you gave it your best with a horse that was not necessarily going to be a team player either. Um, unfortunately, you did miss your trot here, um, but you had a very straight back for a halt that got a little crooked. So it was a really, really great save there. Uh, second place is going to go to 379. I really, really want to commend your pattern knowledge. You know exactly what you're doing. Your pony just wasn't participating today. Um, but you absolutely knew your pattern. You had the best quarters of the class. Um, so thank you for a very crisp showman presentation. Third day goes to our precious white pony, immaculately turned out in this red clay, with an exhibitor with a great attitude. Unfortunately, you did present on the wrong side of the cone, so I had to place you third today. So our final placings were first is 325, second is 379, and third is 335. Okay, winning this class is Exhibitor 325, Il Isabella Gilbert. Second is Exhibitor 379, Morgan Bennett. And third is 335, Jenna Humphrey. We'll be looking for Class 6, Junior English Showmanship. We're looking for seven exhibitors. You can please enter the ring at, at the rail. Okay, class seven, junior, senior, gated showmanship. Please be in the holding pen. We're looking for one exhibitor, 336, Jody Stoneburner. Please be in the holding pen, ready for your class. Oh, okay. Me too, stand in bed to see better. I appreciate it, yeah.
Yeah, so my goodness. <laughs>
All right, nothing is more exciting than a nice big class of hunter showmanship for me. So you guys did wonderful. Again, fantastically turned out horses. I greatly appreciate that. Fantastic body posture, smiles and attitudes. Don't ever tell me sorry when your horse doesn't square. I know you're sorry. Come in there with that confidence. Yeah, it is what it is. We're going to make it work. Uh, but you guys did a fantastic job today. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this pattern. There's a couple of things that makes this pattern look really easy, but are the difference between first and second or second and third. Um, first, there is no rule in showmanship on how close you need to be to those cones. If I was presenting in this class, I would get as far away from that cone as I could. Do not touch that cone, because if you hit that cone, you split that cone, you come all in here with the cone, we're talking penalty time, okay? There's no reason you can't do, you can be right here, it's totally fine. So don't be afraid to come off of your cone. This also sets you up better for your second cone when you're coming around, because if you noticed in the pattern, it specifically sets you trot around B. So I was looking for you to come out, to trot, to come Y, and to trot here, and now you may walk. So I'd like to see you come around B. You'll notice my cone was a little off of this cone to give you room for these great big hunter horses to come in straight on me and set you up for that advantage. So just pay attention to that in your cones. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pin this and then I'll talk it real quick. You guys can absolutely relax. First today is gonna go to Number 225, 225 is our big gray. Um, this horse took first to read today. There was a little struggle in the timing, but I greatly appreciated your quarters um, and your efforts in the pivot. Again, the pivot is usually something our hunter horses have no idea what's going on. A second and third were a very close pair. Our second does the 366. That's our big clean chestnut. Um, third goes to 400. Um, 400 had a fantastic pattern, as did, as did 366. Same issues there, a little bit of trot timing. Uh, what broke this pair for me is when I walked the line, one of you knew to move when and one of you were a little behind on it. Um, so remember, when the judge walks this line, I'm breaking ties. Our fourth place today is going to go to number 433. A little bit of a late trot and some concerns with cone spacing. And fifth is going to go to number 458. That was our brilliant trotter. I appreciated that bright forward trot. A um, couple of issues in the quarters, but otherwise that's good. Um, unfortunately, our two horses that did not place today were our two friends that were not interested in trotting for us. Um, but again, everybody had fantastic quarters. This group, I feel like, across the board had the best quarters so far I've seen today. And lots of great work in the pattern. So thank you very much, ladies. Okay, first in this class is number 225, Addison Haas. Second is number 366, Mackenzie Stout. Third is number 400, Celine Good. Fourth is number 433, Sinya McFarland. And fifth is number 558, Jennifer Price. Reminder, all winners of the showmanship class, please remain ringside for overall showmen. All right, in our game of showmanship, first we'll go to 336. 
Uh, Jeremy is a fantastic competitor and great attitude about this. I really like this pony. Uh, what a fun little pony that has a big step. Uh, the biggest challenge we had here was standing still in a straight line, um, which is hard when we want to go places and exciting in the morning. Um, but Jody has immaculate turnout and a great attitude, which for me is the majority of a good showmanship class. So first day we'll go to 336. Okay, winning this class is exhibitor 336, Jody Stoneburner. We're looking for class eight in the ring. Please come in and line up at the rail. We're looking for exhibitor 343, Carly Hornby, 363, Madeline Nestor, and 226, Adeline Esposito.
All right, a fantastic class. Number eight, showmanship for my walk jog. Three wonderful exhibitors with three very fun ponies with a lot of personality. Uh, first day is gonna go to number 363, immaculately turned out pony. Best trot we had of the day. Did a great job standing. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to watch. Second day is gonna go to number 226. That's S'mores, by the way. I was hoping this pony's name was S'mores or Snickers or something cool with that color. Um, a great job. Struggles in the trot, but otherwise a nice clean setup with a very good square and nice quarters. Third day is going to go to 343. Um, had some struggles standing, but I learned we uh, stayed in the stall all night, which didn't make us happy, which I get. Um, but well turned out, well handled uh, by a kid who did not give up. So today will be first is 363, second is 226, and third is 343. Okay, first in this class is going to be number 363, Madeline Nestor. Second is going to be 226, Adeline S. Fizico. And third will be 343, Carly Hornby.
After the overall showman is announced, we will be opening the ring for five minutes to give exhibitors a few minutes to get tax exchanged. That will be an open arena for five minutes after showmanship. Alright, I'll give a minute to give a recognition to our sponsorships, our sponsors for the day. Um, the overall champion banner was sponsored by the Lynch family. The halters for today's winner are going to be sponsored by the Southern States of Charlestown. And the grand champion of the English Western Gated and Walk Trot Division, Schumann, is sponsored by Farmers Mechanic Insurance Company. Daisy? Oh, that's a good name. Alright, so this is our overall showmanship. You guys can relax and turn around. 
Uh, this pattern is interesting because it asks for a few things. Are you prompt? Can you get a trot from a halt, trot from a walk really fast? And spatial awareness. Um, so the best way to pull off that turn is to go as big as you can, which is why I actually pulled the cones in to give you more space because a break in that trot around is enough to have a problem for your day. Um, otherwise, this pattern is very straightforward. Across the board, you guys are fantastic. Remember, you're in here because you're the best of the best in your group. So you should absolutely be feeling super proud that you are the best of the best in your group. Um, a couple of you need to work on what I call hand dependency. Um, so be aware that if you have to drop your heels into the ground and pull back to stop your horse, um, that's kind of an issue in showmanship. Or if your horse, when you're going to set up, curls in on you because you're laying on the chain, um, those are minor faults that go against you and, and kind of take away from that overall pattern. Uh, but, so just be aware of that. So hand dependency, especially as you're going through trying to get prompt transitions. Otherwise, this was a great class. You guys had to work super hard. Um, so we are going to award a champion and a reserve. Um, we are going to give, give me just a minute to figure that out. Let me look at one more thing. Oh, I wrote, I'm not writing the notes because you guys were good. Everybody had little issues. Other one is quarters. Um, a lot of you struggle with your front quarters. Remember to move just behind the girth. Um, some of you are a little early or a little late or you forget a front. All right, we are going to give your overall showmanship champion today to number 227. You had a fantastic pattern. You had a little bit of a struggle at the beginning, remembering the trot, walk, trot. You did get it though, and you had a little bit of an issue with your quarters in the front but otherwise it was a fantastic pattern. I'm gonna award our second today. Um, we had a lot of folks that had issues in the braking, issues in the backing, um, lots of little minor things here. So this next group was a very, very tight group. Can you guys turn around, show me back one more time. Ah, okay, there we go. I was real confused for a minute. All right, everyone can turn back around. Because <laughs> two of you have very similar numbers. And I was like, oh no, did I write the same horse twice? I didn't. Today I'm going to go ahead after a intensely close class. It is not even funny how close it is. I'm going to give our reserve today to our Bay 325. Um, this group right here, everyone had a great time. You all had some issues with breaking. Um, which made it a much harder class. This came down to who was really willing to uh, work with what they had, and everybody had a little bit of an issue here and there, but thank you guys very much. Um, we only pinned the top two, but all of you guys, I mean, it was a point apart. It was a point apart. Um, so continue to work on hand dependency and promptness in your movements. Great job, everybody. Okay, our grand champion overall showman is going to be number 227, Adriana Dunbar. And our reserve champion is 325, Isabella Gilbert. They're going to be doing riding in a minute. Okay. Just get like the next 45 minutes an hour and then you're going out. Okay. okay.
And walk, riders, you may walk. And low, riders go low.
walk on the walk. Is the station when I'm done? Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Okay. Riders should reverse and continue on the rail at a walk. in the gator on the other side of the ring. All right, thank you guys very much for a great Senior Western Pleasure class. Um, the results are being run over to the announcer's booth. I'm trying to stay spaced out in the ring, especially the second direction. I really appreciated that. Um, today's class was a lot about consistency. I do appreciate those of you who were not comfortable doing the low. We tried to pull to the middle and jog. That was a safe and smart decision as 4-H'ers. Um, I'm super proud of that. Um, our first place horse today just was consistent across the board, quiet. 
um, and had a wonderful ride. Our other top riders had correct leads um, and were really fair and kind with, their, with the use of their shank bits and having a good drape in their rain that was fair but workmanlike. Okay, today's placing, first place is going to be number 227, Adriana Dunbar. Second place is going to be number 235, Jenna Humphrey. Third place is going to be number 325, Isabella Gilbert. Fourth place is going to be number 223, Abigail Taylor. And fifth place is going to be number 379, Morgan Bennett. Rider 379, if you want to move up to the cone and be ready for your pattern. Rider 325, if you want to move to the cone and wait for the judge. Rider 223, if you want to move to the cone and wait for the judge. Rider 227, if you want to move to the cone and wait for the judge.
come forward to the gate where the judge is to pick up the jog. I'd like you to jog around the rail until you pass the cone on the far side, and I'd like you to lope to the announcer's booth and halt. Again, if you guys can not be in a group, if you can space out, I'd like you guys to pick up the jog. You will jog on the rail from me around the short side to the cone and then lope to the announcer's booth. You don't, you can all just go. I that. My name is No. Do that. I want to watch that. You want to watch that? I do it. Like this. Mm. Once you're done, you can just halt down at the end. very much, Ryder. Uh, so for the pattern? Am I working my own? This one was a little... <laughs> you had to uh, get that flying lead change. Uh, your best bet here, which I saw a lot of you unfortunately not utilize, was that your circle could be as big as this arena is long coming around B. Utilize that to get that correct lead because this pattern had a lot to do with getting your leads. Um, even if you had done a simple change but had gotten both leads, uh, that today could have put you at the very top as everybody had a variety of struggles. Um, unfortunately, several of my riders started on the incorrect side of the first cone, and while you did have a nice run, I had to place you towards the bottom of my card. Um, and then I actually used that final little lope off to break a tie up at the top. Um, so your results are coming in there. Thank you guys for a lovely class. I think we're now going to set up for trail while this is getting pinned. Okay, winning this class is number 227, Adriana Dunbar. Second is going to be 225, Isabella Gilbert. Third is going to be 223, Abigail Taylor. Fourth is going to be 335, Jenna Humphrey. And fifth is going to be 379, Morgan Bennett. If all riders want to put their tail to the rail and wait for the trail class to be started, and I'll call your numbers individually to do your pattern. <laughs> First out is going to be number 335. Go ahead and start your trail. <laughs> <laughs> 
Other riders in this class, if you want to exit the ring and just wait in the holding pin until I call your number, please. Morgan Minute, go ahead and start your pattern.
Okay, once rider 379 exits the ring, we're looking for rider 325, Isabella Gilbert.
Riders 325 access to ring, rows into riders 223, Abigail Taylor. <laughs> 